Good morning guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's the first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll return the subscribers as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I got some background interference noise. Seems like we having a typhoon outside, so please excuse anything you hear. But listen, this piece of crap right here. This guy right here is 33-year-old Frederick Owusu Sakai. This guy's late. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, has a protective order against his wife, who's no longer with us. Her name was Tanisha Butler. May she rest in peace. She was 33 years old. She was working at a uh, supermarket called Giant out there in uh, Urbana, Maryland. Her and uh, Mr. Sakai are married and they're estranged. Going through a divorce. Ladies and gentlemen, this man, if you want to call him that, took this woman and ambushed her when she was on her way out of the job roughly this past Saturday, a little bit past 11 o'clock, and shot her to death in the parking lot with co workers present. Take a look at this news article and we're going to come back and talk about it. Start with a murder investigation underway tonight in Frederick County, Maryland. Investigators say a man shot and killed his estranged wife right outside her job at a giant grocery store. The Frederick County Sheriff's Office releasing this mugshot of the suspect they arrested. And as you can see, he's smiling. Fox 5's Derek Waller live in Urbana where that shooting happened. And Derek, we're learning that suspect was actually court ordered to stay away from his wife. Sierra, all of this soda serving coming to you live tonight from outside this giant grocery store here on Sugarloaf Parkway. And authorities say that the suspect, the man you just saw in that creepy uh, mugshot, he actually had an active protective order filed against him by the woman he's accused of murdering. Her and some other co-workers had got off work and they were walking outside and uh, he was in the parking lot waiting for her. A deadly ambush, 33-year-old Tanisha Butler shot and killed in the parking lot of the giant grocery store where she worked moments after closing Saturday night. The murder happening in front of her co-workers. So that entire parking lot was a huge crime scene. Todd Weivel with the Frederick County Sheriff's Office tells Fox 5, 33-year-old Frederick Owusu Seiki of Walkersville, Maryland, is now behind bars, charged with first-degree murder and use of a firearm in the commission of a murder. That's him smiling in this mugshot taken just hours after the shooting. Deputies were able to track him down in Columbia, Maryland, and inside his car, they found a shotgun and a handgun. Weapons he was not supposed to have, authorities say, due to an order of protection filed against him. The couple was also in the middle of a divorce. How on earth was he able to get a gun? As any law enforcement agency, it is our, it is our job to serve the protective orders or peace orders, but there's no way for us to constantly monitor that person and, and how they go about getting a weapon. Tonight, this quiet community is in shock. What was she like? Uh, really friendly, really friendly lady. Our prayers to the family is, is, is hard for them. I know it's, it's difficult times they are having at the moment. A giant spokesperson released a statement that reads in part, our thoughts and prayers are with our associate and their family at this very difficult time. We are cooperating fully with law enforcement as they conduct their investigation and the safety and well-being of our customers and associates continue to be our top priority. And to that point, authorities say that this was clearly a targeted shooting. And now with the suspect behind bars awaiting his court appearance, there appears to be no immediate danger to the community. Sierra. All right, guys, that's the story about this guy, uh, Frederick Sakai. And stuff like this be having me miffed. And the reason why I be having me miffed is because it's like. I don't understand why people can't just leave people alone. I say that all the time. I know y'all be like, man, Steve said that all the time, but it's the truth. This guy has a history of stalking this woman who's not pictured. Tanisha Butler. Now they're going through a divorce. He'd been stalking her. She goes and gets the protective order. They serve it to him so he knows to stay away from her. He gets upset and ambushes her at her place of employment. While she's getting off work. 
then runs away like the B-I-T-C-H that he is. I don't understand this. You do something hardcore like that, stay there. Wait for the police. Come stand on it. Don't do that. Run off like nobody knows it was you. You sat here. Impatiently waiting in the parking lot to kill somebody that wants to go on with their life without you. Make it make sense. The laws need to be upgraded with the type of criminal that's out here right now. Whether it's this, violent carjacking, attacking people that you don't know, victimizing people, running up in stores, taking stuff that ain't yours, touching kids, domestic abuse, just like this, whether it's a man or a woman, this stuff need to stop. They got the power to do it, but they don't want to say nothing. Because too many people want to oppose it. Oh, it's inhumane. It's the, so is what they doing. Let me tell you something. You cannot deal with barbarians without being barbaric. I don't want to hear nothing. Being nonviolent against people that are violent towards you and malicious and attempting to wound you, it's not working. You could be as nice as you want to a predator, a tiger, a lion, so on and so forth. They still know what they are and they're still inside instinctive and they will do you dirty if the time presents itself. Same with people. Human beings are, uh, can be predatory. We're all opportunistic in one way or another, whether it's doing good or doing bad. It's just in the nature. But when those can't control their nature or they think they are above the law, extreme measures need to be taken and put in effect. This guy right here, coward. Coward. Oh, you smiling in your uh, mugshot? Lucky I don't run stuff. You lucky. As soon as I saw that, because like he, 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 get, he get a chance to go to a trial and stuff. Why? You blast this woman. They found him in the car. <clears throat> they found him. When they pulled the car open, he had a shotgun in the back and the murder weapon, a handgun up front. Blasted her. Gun right there. Lock it up. You laugh because you know it's over for you. But you, it's not over for your life. This woman, I don't know if she has children or not, will never experience joy, pain, real love, and affection, and enjoying the rest of her day. She'll never see another sunset, never hear another song in her car driving back and forth to work, never smile at another person, never meet the right kind of guy that she needs that wasn't you. And you sitting in, in, in uh, what's the name? Because you know you're going to be on TV flashing your pearly whites. The ultimate uh, crimes need the ultimate punishment. A pound of flesh. No more, no less. And I'm telling you, they need to start cutting pieces off these people. Taking right to the flowers. Look in the bushes. End it. Because now taxpayers is on the hook, it, whether he take a deal or not, and feeding him three square meals a day. Nowadays, they got iPads and all kind of stuff in jail. He probably up there looking at himself right now, basking in the ambiance and his 15 seconds of fame for blasting a woman's face. Why should we be on the hook for this? Why should we pay taxes for this? You know, say, oh, well, there's ways of being, you know. Of handling things and stuff like that. But let me tell you something. This is what he did was not lawful. And it was disorderly. So where's law and order in this case? Besides locking him up and giving him the chance to probably take a deal. Because don't nobody want to pay money for a trial when they know he's guilty. That's the thing. People look for the law and stuff for guidance and stuff like that. But I mean, according to guidelines, they can only do what they want to do. Why this ain't no capital murder case? Why you ain't heard death penalty from this? 
This is a common occurrence. And ain't nobody trying to stop it. This guy right here. And I, I mean, I'll be sick of this stuff for real. Lucky I don't run the world. I would be eviscerating people. I'd be the worst president. I'd have, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this stuff right here is stupid and it can be stopped. See, a lot of people that do violence and stuff like that think it'll never happen to them. So there's an extreme punishment. A lot of people think twice. So that's the thing. A lot of people go to jail. They're not scared of jail. Not scared of prison. Because this is one thing I learned when I was in prison, guys. I want to get deep, but it's just one thing I learned when I was in prison. It's just a different world. It's not the world that we are used to and want to be in when we have freedoms, but it's still somewhat a world that you can exist in. You can still smile. You can still enjoy things. You can still have ups. You can have downs. This woman would never experience that ever again. 33 years old, both of them. And he goes and does this like he's a 13 year old where he doesn't know the difference between right or wrong and good judgment. She didn't want to be with you. You could have gladly rode your dumb ass right off into the sunset, but you didn't. You chose to come back and hate on her. If you don't want me, nobody will want you. Boom. Make it make sense. This is disgusting behavior, especially for a man to have. Whether he's American born or, or in his case, gone in descent, men are men. She had the right to the same life force that you presently exist in, undeservedly. I mean, Tanisha Butler, rest in peace, man. I hope they lift the jail up and squash him with it. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.